Hi, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Diamond Point Plaza located in Baltimore, Maryland. Everything happens to me. I'm broke, can't pay my bills. I think I'm cursed. I'm just bad luck. From Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, it's the Showstopper America Dance Championships 1990 with your host, Emma Sam. Okay, here we are taking the exit into the Diamond Point Plaza, which is located on Eastern Boulevard in Baltimore, Maryland. Right now it is completely abandoned except for this building you see ahead here, the Diamond Point Home Furnishing Store, which is just like a giant warehouse filled with furniture. I believe that space where where a Diamond Point Home Furnishings is is a former BJ's wholesale club. Um, but also, interestingly enough, if I'm not incorrect, The Wire um, filmed inside of there. They built the sets for The Wire inside of that building. I believe that's where it was. Here we are entering this grimy former fast food restaurant. There's been a little bit of discussion on what fast food restaurant this was. I've heard KFC in the back. I saw a towel dispenser that said Roy Rogers on it. I also saw a soap dispenser in the back that said McDonald's on it. So who was it? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I think back and just cannot remember what restaurant this was. But as you can see, there's no food cooking at this place anymore. Here's the uh, soda room here. And you may be asking, what is all of this stuff? Here's a shopping cart. There's a teddy bear. There's a bunch of stuff in the front. And as you'll see in the other buildings that we're going to explore, they're filled with stuff as well. Basically, there was a gentleman who ran a flea market out of the shopping center. I had been to his place a couple of times. I believe he is what you would call a picker. And a picker is somebody who basically cleans out houses. You know, a relative dies, the family doesn't feel like dealing with the house. So they call this gentleman, he comes and cleans the house out and then takes all this stuff over to his flea market and, and sells it. Anyway, he 
must have had some kind of a deal with this place. But as you'll see, he definitely cleaned everything out. Probably took him a few weeks because he had a lot of stuff tucked away in this place. Why does it like pancake syrup? You smell that? Or curry. It smells like curry. Here we are inside of a former buffet. I believe it was called Susie's Buffet. But if you frequented this plaza, please share your knowledge because there is not a lot of information about this place. I used to go down here to go to Ames back in the day. Ames has been closed at this location for more than a decade. But you'll see some footage from inside Ames later in this video. You can see this is a basic kitchen area Jesus. for cooking food, preparing food, probably a very busy kitchen at the height of when the buffet was open. And here we are going into a walk-in. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's have a look around. Oh, oh no. That's This place is huge. So this shopping plaza um, opened in 1990. I don't know if Ames was always the anchor, yeah, but it appears that that was the way it was. It is 253 thousand square feet on 26 acres of land in 2012 it sold for five million dollars and apparently or allegedly it is going to be torn down and replaced with an amazon distribution center i couldn't find any um articles talking about that so i may be wrong but it does make sense since amazon is taking over malls uh, property mall properties and shopping center properties and tearing them down and building these huge distribution centers so probably oh, oh. what is going to happen here i bet it stinks so bad in here Sweet. 
biscuits. So here we are moving through the wall into another space, another retail space, which is right next door to where the buffet is. And here's a mirror over here and some, some dolls and stuff on the floor. I was definitely sporting a respirator in this building. Lots and lots of uh, mold. But all the doors were open, so made it easy to uh, get a breeze going through, but it was still really moldy. Better safe than sorry. That bathroom was unbelievable and I don't know what would smell worse the toilet or champagne scented hand soap I've never heard of a champagne scented hand soap I didn't know champagne you know I've had champagne before it doesn't really have a smell that I would be excited about if I washed my hands and my hands came out smelling like champagne but whatever it's Marilyn Monroe it's it's her formula <laughs> Headed back outside. Here's a dumpster. They had several dumpsters. And here's that beautiful cloud oh coming in. And here totally out. is the space where Chuck E. Cheese used to be. And Chuck E. Cheese was really the last thing that was here that uh, people still came to take their kids and stuff for birthdays and stuff like that. But once Chuck E. Cheese closed, that was pretty much it. And I believe that the gentleman who in the flea market had filled this space with, with, uh, with stuff. When I came down here, it was a, during a Saturday night live stream, and I drove into the parking lot and noticed that the wall had been ripped out and all the doors and everything on all the buildings was open. So I, that's why I came back here to shoot this because 
I never had an opportunity to just see the whole place. I only went into the old Ames, which was back in 2016. So I can't imagine what the Ames is like now in 2023. Just cannot even possibly imagine. It was so bad when I was there back in 2016. Okay, so I'm just having a little dilemma. What are these? Obviously, they're cases to carry something. But it says four people should carry one case. And I'm not sure what would go inside of these that would be that heavy. But I'm sure dozens and dozens of people will write in the comments what these were. I don't know if they were military or I, I'm just not sure. I've never seen anything like them. So let me know in the comments. I keep hearing. Hello, hello. There's a few videotapes. Speed, great film. I haven't seen the cartoons. And here we are exiting the Chuck E. Cheese space. And you'll see once I turn the light on over here, there's a bunch of furniture from the gentleman who ran the uh, flea market. Some chairs and stuff. There's a sort of a glass or plexiglass display container here. You'll see it just in a moment right here. I was like, gosh, if someone pushed that over, it would like make a mess. Here's a nice shot of the beautiful parking lot here with that nice cloud, the Diamond Point Plaza parking lot. Such a romantic night. And here's the moon over Ames, which is uh, really, what a, <laughs> what a crazy image that is. <laughs> Ames is all locked up, but that's okay. Let's go inside. Okay, here we are back in 2016, which almost seems like yesterday because I remember doing this so vividly, getting into this old rundown apocalyptic defunct shuttered Ames store I'm, I'll never forget this place first of all out of all the places I've been in abandoned places this was the worst the amount of mold inside of this building if you look up there look at the mold growing on those walls look at that mold those are enormous colonies of mold. Here's a wide shot of the whole store. I just couldn't believe that there was stuff still left inside this store. And you'll see in a minute as we head back to the stock room. The stock room was full of merchandise. Full. 
I was only inside of Ames for about eight minutes. I started having a panic attack because my respirator uh, was, it was really hot when I went in here and I was sweating and I just wanted to take my respirator off for a minute. And I'm like, you can't, you can't take it off because you're going to get sick breathing in the air inside of this place. Look at the mold in here. You, you would literally need a full body protective suit with a, with a air, you know, fresh air blowing in to go inside of this place. So I was only in here for eight minutes. I got as much footage as I could and I turned around and left. Here's an old Kodak uh, shelf. That's something. <laughs> It certainly is a Kodak moment now, isn't it? And here we are headed into the back stock room. There's, these are doorknobs, it looks like, or, or lamp part, parts of lamps, I think. But look, look at this. Look at all this stuff. It's just dead retail. Dead stock. Can you imagine, like, pulling all that out and looking through it and seeing what's in there? I bet there's some really cool shit in that in in those boxes. Um, getting a last look here. Here's a little shelf here. It, this Ames was definitely the worst place I've ever been in. I, I couldn't handle it. I had to get out. But I, it, it was also the most surreal of the places retail wise that I've been in. So this here is the last place that's open, but. Uh... Looks, it's a furniture store, but it looks so depressing. I mean, I just can't imagine. Look how depressing it looks. And there's like nobody here. It feels like completely. Oof. This is like a safari. Hmm? Oh, I thought you said body. I'm like, <laughs> oh, no surprise there. <laughs> Good lord. What's the deal with the porta potty? Seriously, I mean, there's more porta potty. Let me just look over here real quick. I'll back up. Oh, God. Some kind of wet. Oh my God, that's another thing like people don't aren't aware of, but across the street is the sewage treatment plant. And I think it could have had something to do with the closing of this place, honestly. The smell that comes out of that plant is so disgusting um, that I would not be surprised if people stop shopping here because they couldn't take the odor. Like right now, you don't smell it. It just depends on which way the wind is going. But boy, does it stink. Oh, it smells really, really bad. we come up to the grand finale the grand finale of this is these these truck containers and uh, I don't know what that one's empty that one's empty there's another porta potty Oh look, there's a whole collection of porta potties. Now I don't know if this is uh, the antique place that basically took over the entire shopping center after everything closed. I guess they gave them a deal or something, but uh, there's this more 
shit. Now we these open doors here, that's where we were exploring. All this junk. Look at all this shit. Good God, man. It, you know what this looks like? Like after a tornado. You know? Like when a tornado hits a... Like a residential neighborhood. It rips everything apart. That's what this looks like. Wow. Unbelievable. And that's the, that's the back of uh, Chuck E. Cheese right there. Shit, man. Look at all that shit. Oh, my God. You know, the funny thing is Ames is actually reopening. Uh, they're reopening stores in uh, Connecticut. Look at all the water damage on this building. That's what I said, like, I only went in here once, and once was enough for me. I was in here for a total of, I would say, eight minutes. Eight minutes, and I ended up using all the footage for the Dead Mall series. But it was so toxic in there that... Uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody enter Ames, the old Ames store. Although it, it is locked up pretty tight. I want to thank you all so much for supporting this series. It's been going on since 2014, and it's still going strong. Join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash thisisdanbell for extra content. And I love you guys very much. Thank you so much. Glad to be back. <laughs> got more girls than I can handle. The pickup line taught me where to meet girls, how to meet them, and what to say. And most importantly, 976 Guts gave me the guts. If you want to be popular with girls, call 976 Guts.